Have you ever wondered how film makes money? You know, the average film you'll see in the movie theater? Well, today we're gonna take a look at that. My name's Ryan McDonald, student at Mohawk College in pre-media and entertainment. Today, that's what we're gonna do. Let's find that question for you. Now, yes, you can go a fact and go out and go purchase expensive cameras, lights, microphone, and all that different stuff. But if you don't have the budget, how do you get that stuff? But one of the other things you need to know is your audience. Where this video is gonna be played. So if it's going to be played in a college area, you're looking at 20 year olds or I mean that type of area. Where if it's going to be for meant for its kids playing the Minecraft games, it's a different type of advertising you need to be looking at. So if you're making a giant feature film, something that's made out of Hollywood that's going to be played in Cineplex or even a video out on YouTube, depending on where you're getting your money, such as sponsorships like Red Bull, GoPro, or any of that type of stuff, then how did the money come through if you don't have those? Unfortunately, you're gonna have to find other ways of making that money. So now, one of the bigger things you're gonna be looking at is what if you don't have that money initially to start with? Well, some of the things you can do are gonna be like Indiegogo campaigns or Kickstarters. If you have that option, you'll be able to do quite a bit of stuff. Some really good movies have actually been started that way. You know, Super Troopers, the new one that's coming out, that one's been started through a campaign and they raised almost over five million dollars by people fitting this money into it. So if you have that money, that's an option. But then what? Unfortunately, you're gonna be looking at going on no budget film production. That's a little bit more tricky because all this camera gear you're gonna need, lighting and all that other fancy stuff, unless you know good friends like I do, who are right now helping, uh, then it's a little bit of a different situation. That big question of what are you gonna do once you don't have that type of stuff? Well, if you already have a script made and storyboard and everything out, you can easily contact a lot of small independent film companies. The biggest reason is a lot of these companies are actually willing to take on these jobs because it's free, it's fun, and we all love to do that. Now I know what you're thinking after that. You have your film already made and all that different stuff, perfectly edited, the best film you've ever made. Well, then what do you do with it? A lot of things you can do, post it up on YouTube, that normal stuff that everybody already does and all the 12 year old children do. Guys, shut up, no, I don't even care, shut up! With the really high squeaky voices. Or you can be able to get in contact with some distributors, even someone like Netflix. If it's good enough, they'll easily buy it off of you to be able to stream it over their service or actually start paying you to have it on theirs. If it's good enough and a lot of different people like it, they might do it. Worst case scenario, some other things you could do is, well, in fact, rent out a movie theater. Now, it's not that practical. If you're able to get well-known enough in your city, you can easily rent out these movie theaters to being able to, well, sell your own tickets and that type of stuff. Most theaters have that option already to rent these theaters out. But that's a little bit more expensive. So there isn't really many options you do have. So as a recap, you need to start your own Indiegogo campaign, Kickstarter, that type of stuff. You could easily just make it on a no budget film and then sell it off as a renting a movie theater or to a large corporation, or really just posting it up on the internet. how oh, pretty much I'm doing with this video already. Now, if you're just gonna make garbage, then please, put it out on the street where it belongs or with my ex, I don't care. Once again, my name is Ryan McDonald. Thank you for tuning into this video. Remember to hit the subscribe button, hit that bell icon to notify when the next video comes out. Comment and like down below as well. And Allison, while you're at it, may as well do all the same things because you're gonna be having to do a lot of these videos. Thank you and have a good day.